Speaking of being divorced from the truth, Dylan Mulvaney, it wouldn't be a day that ends in Y if Dylan Mulvaney were not thrusting himself into the headlines. Dylan Mulvaney has accelerated his activism, and he now says that we ought to arrest people who refer to him as a man. The articles written about me using he pronouns and calling me a man over and over again. And I, I feel like that should be illegal. I, I don't know. That's, that's just bad journalism. I feel that should be illegal, don't you? We should arrest people who don't think that I'm a beautiful, stunning woman. I'm just the picture of grace and femininity. I, Dylan Mulvaney. We should arrest those people. We went from Just leave us alone. How does this affect you? What's your problem? Why are you so obsessed with us to call me a beautiful lady or you're going to prison? In like six months, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Dylan Mulvaney has only been pretending to be a woman for slightly over one year. He's on his 368th day or something like that of pretending to be a woman. And we went from, tee hee hee, isn't this so silly? I'm a lady, tee hee hee. How does this affect you to, you're going to the gulag if if you don't call me she. Actually, sir, it's ma'am. It's it's that video of the giant guy in the bodega. That guy is more peaceable and amiable than Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney doesn't yell and scream, but the threat is far more serious. This is what they want. Why? Why are they so insistent? Because... Public lies require ever more force to prop them up. If you're telling the truth and you're orienting your society according to the truth, you don't need nearly as much force because the truths on which you base your society are clear to people. People can perceive them. They can deduce them using their reason. They can intuit them using their moral conscience. If, however, you're grounding your society on absurdities, then those absurdities are not clear to people. In fact, it's it's quite clear that they're false. And so to establish them in society, you need force to tell people, don't believe your eyes, don't use your faculties of reason, deny your moral conscience, shut up or we're throwing you in the gulag. That's why. That's why uh, at times in our nation's and civilization's history, when society has been more normal and in line with reality, the government has had a lighter touch. The government can afford a lighter touch. But as society becomes more absurd, the government has to become more tyrannical. The government has to become totalitarian. Because any little crack in the artifice that has been built up can threaten the whole system. So if you're living according to communism, say, which is based on false ideas about human nature and reality, then you can't allow, you can't allow a representative of the people to speak up in Congress or the parliament, certainly not, but you can't even allow a novelist to question it. You can't even allow families to question it around the dinner table. You certainly can't allow TV shows to question these sorts of things because any little crack will be persuasive to people because people can know something about the truth. They can recognize the truth. Sometimes using their reason, using their moral conscience. Don't don't think this is Dylan Mulvaney jumping the shark. He's not. This is the inevitable consequence of establishing a lie so absurd as transgenderism in our law and culture. Right now, go to puretalk.com, use promo code Knowles. We all know about the big wireless cell companies out there. They lock you into these horrendous contracts. If you try to get out of them early, they tack on outrageous charges. That is why I'm so pleased to use Pure Talk Wireless, where there are no hidden fees, no contracts, no hassle. Pure Talk's U.S. customer service team made it incredibly easy to sign up. You can keep your old phone number if you want. Pure Talk has a range of affordable cell phone plans to choose from. You can find the perfect option for your needs, such as unlimited talk, text, and plenty of data for just $30 a month. Their 5G service is fast, consistent, doesn't drop your calls. You get the same coverage. When I say the same, I don't mean similar. I mean the same coverage that you are used to at half the rate you're currently paying. Pure Talk saves the average family over $900 per year. Not only will you save more money, you will also get the satisfaction of knowing you're supporting a great American 
company. The CEO and chairman of PureTalk is a U.S. military vet. When you become a PureTalk customer, you're given the option to support America's warrior partnership, which works to prevent veteran suicide. Go to puretalk.com, enter promo code Knowles, save 50% off your first month, 50%. That is puretalk.com, promo code Knowles. PureTalk is simply smarter wireless. Speaking of irrationality, North Carolina man was critically injured. He almost died when his neighbor allegedly started shooting him and his poor little girl and some other children. Why did the neighbor start shooting the children and then the father? Why did he try to murder the little kids? Because their ball rolled into his yard. These little children were playing with a ball and the ball rolled into his yard, so he got a gun and tried to murder the children. Why did he do it? Well, he yelled, I don't even like white people. His name is Robert Lewis Singletary. He's 24 years old. Turned himself into authorities after he was on the lam for a couple of days and realized he was going to get caught. So he goes, he turns himself in. He fired at this poor little girl and her parents, White and Ashley Hildebrand, uh, after, after the ball rolled onto the property. So you white, I don't even like white people. I'm going to shoot your AWS. Uh, and then, according to the father, he fires three shots. He hasn't hit anybody yet. So I turn around and look. My daughter's right in front of me. I look and see he's pointing straight at my daughter. So this father just jumps and he gets shot and is critically injured. Uh, the daughter caught shrapnel in her cheek, but luckily, luckily they, they seem to have lived. You almost certainly haven't heard about this story anywhere. Maybe on some conservative channel, but this sort of thing is suppressed. Obviously, it goes without saying, if the, if the races were reversed, then this would be a national news story. The president would give a speech about it. There would be a national conversation going on. There might be riots, but in this case, it's not. We just sort of ignore it. We, we ignore the fact that he shot these people because they're white. This is the real American constitution, lowercase c constitution. We have an uppercase C constitution that's written on parchment. And that uppercase C constitution written on parchment is related to other founding documents, the Federalist Papers, the Declaration of Independence. And so we have this view of how American society works based on schoolhouse rock. You know, I'm a bill up on Capitol Hill, do, 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 do. But that's not the real constitution. According to the real constitution, there are favored groups and disfavored groups. And if you're a member of a favored group, you'll be treated differently by the law and by the culture than if you're a member of a disfavored group. And that's what we're seeing playing out now. And some of those are sometimes in flux. Women, for instance, are more favored than men, but they are less favored than men who think that they're women. And so, so if women, women can claim discrimination by men and the law will look favorably upon them, but Women can't claim discrimination by so-called trans women, the men who think that they're women. The law will look more favorably on the transgenderist people. Obviously, according to the law and to the culture, white people are pretty much the only group that you can discriminate against and insult. And non-white people can do no wrong. They're the greatest people on earth. Every problem is because of whiteness. Every solution will be by turning away from whiteness, the original sin of our civilization. These are ideas that are not only floating around the culture, but are articulated explicitly by the people who wield power in the culture. And so a, a presidential candidate, as we look ahead to 2024, a presidential candidate who is successful is going to have to speak to the real lowercase c constitution, not just on this issue of you know, black people, good, white people, bad, that our popular culture puts out, Oh yes, this guy shot a little, tried to shoot a little girl, and I guess ultimately did because of the shrapnel in her cheek, because she's white. Oh yeah, okay, never mind, move along, move along. But not just that. It's the whole issue of how does our society really work? Put aside the transgender issues and the race issues and all those other issues. How does our society really work? Who wields the power? How do we bring those powerful forces back into line? How do we rein in the media? The New York Times, the state paper from... from basically just pushing state propaganda. How do we fix that? How do we, how do we tweak the education system? All the rest of it. A real successful presidential candidate. I don't want to hear platitudes about the 4th of July and the Declaration of Independence. I want people to address the actual constitution according to which, the unwritten constitution, according to which society operates today. 
boy, was that good. It was really excellent, incisive, handsome commentary. If you want more of it, you got to ring the bell and click the thing and do the doodad and subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. See you next time. <laughs>